farm system here in Jamaica to whether from plywood or from um, metal or aluminum. Yeah. These these forms are made of foam. And it stays in place. So they fit like a Lego in building yeah. the wall. Oh, okay. And you you put your rebars in just like you're doing a regular wall. And you pour the concrete, whether it's four inch or six inch core. Oh, okay. So would, would as you say it stays in place, meaning that after I'm finished construction, I don't remove it. No, it doesn't. Well, you don't remove it. Yeah. Welcome to another episode of Ajawi TV where we discuss architectural and construction related topics. I'm your host, I'm Ajawi. Um, and for today, for today we'll be interviewing the directors of Freeform Factory, Mr. and Mrs. Edwards. Alright? Um, somebody on the channel actually asked me about IFC, ICF. I keep mixing it up. I keep saying IFC. ICF, right? Insulated concrete forms and i thought it would be very good information and so i decided to go and interview them um i will be going down to the factory so depending on the reaction or how much likes i get on this video i want at least a hundred likes on this video before i go down to the factory right so once i reach a hundred likes on on this video i'll take a trip down to the factory and you know get the relevant information for you if i get 200 likes on this video then i will go on a site because they have invited me to come on a site uh, that they're doing to see the form in action or see the type of construction in action and i'll bring that information to you guys guys remember you're like you're subscribed you hitting the notification bell does help the channel it helps it to grow it helps YouTube to, you know, turn up the little rewards that they give. Um, and, you know, overall, help me to help you get relevant information about the construction industry in Jamaica. Alright? Um, so, yeah, at this point, please hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell. Alright? Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. So, without any further ado. Let's get into this video. Preform, um, how do we describe ourselves? We are, we've been around for some time. Um, Keith, who is my husband, has been in business for many, many years. Um, not necessarily this particular business, but um, from in the, in the early 80s, he ran a company called, was more famously um, known as Curved Space Limited. A lot of people from from the 70s and 80s loved that company. He made soft furniture. Um, he introduced soft like bean bags and sofas and very different kinds of chairs that people wouldn't typically see. Like I think he had one called a fish chair, which was a which is a unique design for a chair. Um, and you know he was making. Uh, the, the sort of moving away from the very traditional furniture like you buy a big dresser put it down or a big coffee table and you can't move and he did more modular things that were interesting to people yeah. so that he did all these little square squares uh that you could then stack together you could get a bookshelf but if you wanted you could use one as a coffee table and two as a side table and so the, you had the multifunctional uh use of furniture which was very interesting to a lot of people freeform okay. itself was incorporated in 1992 and i think the intention really was to separate out so car space was really selling and marketing and the intent was to create us a, a company that in which the manufacturing process would be captured so freeform 
is a manufacturing company and it started out um, that way in 1992. It manufactured, oh, okay. it manufactured the furniture and curved space would sell raw material for expandable polystyrene, which is what we produce. Um, is is uh, like salt, like um, crystals, very small, tiny things, and that's the element we import. We import the the the, the um, raw material in large bags, and then at the factory at Nanspen, you we are able to uh, from that material through a process of application of steam um, expand those tiny crystals into about keith is it about 60 times your size oh keith you're 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 on mute at the moment so all right so let's call it about 60 60 maybe so they, yes so they, so they mm -hmm. are expanded to multiple times your size and that those when they are when they are multiplied those beads are the first part now that would make the bean bags Mm -hmm. But you can also move further. And so as we've developed um, the company, we, and I'll tell you how that got started, but we, we were able to get machines now that moved from just the first part of the beads to fusing, oh, okay. like fusing the beads together to create this large block of foam. Huge. Oh, okay. And it is from that block of foam that you are then able to cut and we have the machines to cut them you can cut them and make panels out of them you can cut them and make them into almost any shape uh you can do a multiplicity of things uh with that starting with that block you then create um other products um and that's essentially what freeform uh does we started that process um about 2002 when when we we observed the the, the real hotel in the grill being built using a lot of foam and keith knowing about the foam asked them you know whether they had to import it because of course it wasn't being produced on the island and they said yes and it's very expensive to import because yeah. it takes up a lot of space um, and he was, he had a bright idea that, listen, you know, I'm currently at this stage, but I can actually produce it. I know how to produce the foam. And, and he offered to do so in Jamaica and they were very happy to hear. And he said, if I, if I produce it, will you buy it from me? And they said, yes. And so that's how we really got into manufacturing. Okay. Because I have been doing so consistently since supplied all of their hotels and many, many others. With, okay. with, with, the, with the foam which they use uh, for various purposes in their in their in their buildings. Okay. So, so in terms of that going to free form, that's that's a little bit about what this company does. Oh, okay. Perfect. Perfect. Um, but as, um, an introduction of you being your your what position are you? With, within the company. So I am a director of the company. So it's just Keith, Keith and I are the the current directors. Okay. I have a background. Keith has so Keith has a background in manufacturing, yeah, and and in construction. Keith has also done developments outside of outside of even um, the manufacturing process. Keith has done a whole uh, road, a, a putting in infrastructure and roads for a housing development that on land that he owned. So Keith has been in and around construction most of his life and development. I. I'm um, an attorney by profession okay. and and it was his good fortune that I worked in myself I worked in development <laughs> so, <laughs> so I worked at the Urban Development Corporation which is a huge uh, government owned corporation in Jamaica my whole experience has been around land and land related matters um, okay. in terms of the business I try to assist I'm not there full time, so in terms of directorial oversight, I try to give oversight to um, the marketing materials, anything that is going out into the public. So I am responsible for the content, for example, on our website. And uh, you know, we have we've had marketers, but I direct all of the literature 
our brochures and so on. That's my thing. I help out with just general administration in you know interviewing people, getting people in positions and so on. Yeah. One question that has been popping up uh, over the past year is what is IFC? Um, I mean, as an architectural technologist and somebody who is working in the industry for over 15 years. Um, I know what it is, but from a layman's term, I would rather not describe it, right? I would want you guys to tell me what really is IFC, um, briefly, so that they can understand what it is, and then how can we utilize it within construction? The first correction is it's it's ICF. ICF. Insulated concrete form. So the so so the, the, one of the letters is is, is um <laughs> the oh, okay. Okay. The mm -hmm. insulated concrete forms, which is really uh one method, one one um what would say Keith a construction methodology mm -hmm. um it's, it's, and system. It's a it's a con it's a system. Um, that is used for the construction of buildings. They could be houses, they could be hotels, so this is residential or commercial buildings. Okay. And Keith might want, Keith, would you like to, to, yeah. to describe yeah. a little further what it is? Yeah. I, I, yes, okay. So the ICF, uh, really, I, insulated concrete form is really, um, it's two uh, pieces of foam. Mm -hmm. And it's connected with a web to give you the spacing for the concrete. Oh, okay. So just like how we use the farm system here in Jamaica to, whether from plyboard or from um, metal or aluminum, yeah, these these forms are made of foam, and it stays in place. So they fit like a Lego in building yeah. the wall. Oh, okay. And you you put your rebars in just like you're doing a regular wall, and you pour the concrete, whether it's four inch or six inch core. Oh, okay. So would, would as you say, it stays in place, meaning that after I'm finished construction, I don't remove it. No, it doesn't. Well, you don't remove it. it. Yes. Oh, okay. They are. It's a reinforced concrete wall. So what happens? We have the machinery now in place where you make the blocks see they're like blocks what's it what's the height what's the what's the average size okay. piece of a, of a form of a of a block they're four feet long 16 inches high four by six do you have any do you have any where you are you can show them are you in the uh, conference room no i'm not in the conference room but i could show him a block yes well what i will do is one yes, when we come <laughs> down to the factory we will look at what exactly it is because we're gonna take a look right. down there one of these days yes mm. but it is basically a, a reinforced concrete wall mm. that is pre-insulated by virtue of the foam itself so the so the real big issue about eps is that EP, which is expandable polystyrene that's the technical name yeah. anything made from eps essentially um insulates whatever it is it is doing so eps is an insulating material mm -hmm. so when you use these icf forms you make the forms at the factory you take them to the site where they are installed on site and they stay in place and you pour the concrete into this core the way you would have poured mm -hmm. concrete in a block pocket is the same way, except that instead of pouring it into a block pocket, you are pouring it into it this four by 16 inch form that was pre-made at the factory. And so once you pour that in along with your webs and your, and, and your steel, which is in place, that holds it in place, in position. You don't have to then use another oh, machine to take it off and, and for the concrete. Okay. So the concrete okay. The concrete is being is being cured into the foam itself, and uh, and then at the at the end of the the the, 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 the construction, um, you use a a, a, a mesh and a cement finish on the exterior. Yeah. Um, it's called um, it's called what is it called? Key the cement finish, cement finish, right? 
Uh, it's a base coat. They call it base, base coat. Base coat. So you mm -hmm. use a fiber mesh and the render. base coat to to uh, yes. apply to the exterior of the wall, oh, and that yeah. will give you a that will give you a surface That's to cool. either textured finish or put trowel on onto it. Oh, okay. Or paint. Or paint, yes. And so, but you don't render. You don't need to go and render and so on. You just put that that base coat and and the mesh for to harden it and um and you apply your finish so and then and then the, the whole beauty of of the process is is a of the ease with which you install and we more than anything else the, the insulation that the building will that the, the the building will have so it's it's immediately much cooler than any other type of building material that is available out there Oh, okay. So, so in essence, okay, no this problem. is really how we should be insulating our buildings because a lot of the times you have a, have these houses that are very hot and they don't realize that is um, because the walls are constantly being exposed to the tropical climate. Yes. It you know yes. absorbs a lot of heat and then yes. rests it during the night. So absolutely. That, yeah. So that's that's pretty interesting. But que the question is, how 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 expensive? No, let me not say expensive. What do these blocks cost? Like one of these blocks, how much would one of them cost? If okay, if presently, 